Hey guys, I know it's gonna probably be a little dark. Um, I'm currently in my car. I'm here at work. Uh, I was just gonna start piecing together the video that I shot about the uh, the flatworm traps I made yesterday. Unfortunately, for some reason, all my footage got corrupt on my phone. So the update is is none of the traps had any form of flatworms in it. Um, the one out of the little four gallon had a little bit of detritus worms, but no flatworms whatsoever. And then the two that I put in my 125, one of them, somehow the snails ate all the food out of the bottle through the little holes that I put in the bottom with a thumbtack. So, I mean, there, I mean, I still had another one. There's nothing in it. So, um, I'm just going to treat the four gallon for the flatworms. And, uh, I was also, uh, shooting some video because I found a, a lot of baby guppies in my 125. And I'm going to put that here at the end. Um, caution, there is some graphic footage for it. Um, some of the, uh, some of the baby guppies were born stillborn. So, I mean, I mean, it happens. Probably uh, due to stress or something. But right now, the only tank that has the planaria or the flatworms is the four gallon. I did take every precaution I could. Uh, so that way I don't spread it to the other tanks. So as soon as I get my uh, dewormer in the mail, I'll be treating that tank and I'll do a video on that then. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. You know, either way, I'm gonna do another part to this video. Um, so I just tore apart all the bottles and I found no flatworms, planaria, whatever you wanna call them. Mine uh, doesn't look like planaria, it looks like a different type of flatworm. So, that's starting to make me think if, you know, they don't mess with, you know, regular flake food, maybe they'll take a meteor, you know, a meteor food. Uh, the one that I know is definitely plagued by the flatworms, I threw that bottle away. Um, right now I have the other three bottles that I pulled out soaking in hydrogen peroxide. Hopefully that would kill the flatworms if there are any in the other tanks. But like I said, I don't think there are. Especially not this tank because there are too many snails. They will outcompete the planaria for food any day. So what I might do is take a, a handful of the snails out of here, put it over there, and see if that does it cure the problem a little bit you know what I mean and not to mention the gold mystery snail that's in there hasn't moved in a while so but it shells open and you can still see that there's a snail there so I don't know what's going on with him he doesn't stink so Oh, looks like I'm about ready to have more angel eggs. They're cleaning off that leaf again. And their appendages are out, so... Eh. This time I won't separate them. Oh. I have a fry of something right there. Probably a guppy. I'm gonna have to see if I can get him out of there. He was late. He was uh, born a couple days ago. It looks like. Which means I probably have a lot more guppy fry in here. But all right. Well, it's almost feeding time, so I'm gonna feed the tank. I'm gonna dose it. Oh, the light came on on the four gallon. Let's go back over there. As you can see, I end up pulling a lot of water out. When I put, took that bottle out, but I didn't want anything to escape.
Hmm. Usually I would see uh, flatworms right now and all I see is detritus worms. See what I mean by the snoo? Like he's, he's still alive I think. There's no smell to him. He's just, he's been chilling out there for a couple days. But now I see nothing moving on the glass. But I saw nothing in the bottle. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait. There's one back here on the glass. I'm not going to be able to get to it. Once they get bigger, I'll be able to probably identify better what they are. Seems like the... If there is a bad infestation, it just started. Because I see no big ones. And they usually grow pretty quick, so... I don't know. I'm probably just going to do the treatment on this tank anyway. Pull out as many snails as I can, just in case. It shouldn't hurt the plants. Especially since they're all low lights. What? Eh, we'll see what's going on. Alright, I'll catch you later, guys. And one last part to this video, just because I don't feel like making another one. I have a lot of fry up in here. There's one, if you guys can see them. There's a couple. There's some over here. So, I think I'm gonna get in here and net out as much of them as I can. Before they get eaten. Because you know how angelfish are. But, alright guys, catch you later. Alright, in the last video I just uploaded, you saw that I found guppy babies all over the tank. Well, I pulled out as much as I could, and she's still giving birth. Problem is, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Right here's where she was sitting giving birth. Alright. Those are all dead babies. They were, uh, well, I, can, I guess I could say they were stillborn. But I, I was just going through the plants and, you know, I was trimming some stuff back. And I just saw dead guppy babies falling. And right there is a, at least 15 to 20 of them. So I don't know what happened. Maybe she got stressed out. No clue. As a matter of fact, I just scared off the female, so I don't know where she went. Hopefully she goes back to her area. I don't want to stress her out too much. I heard there, maybe she's just getting old. But definitely got a lot of babies out here. I pulled at least 15 out, and hell, right now I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> probably about 20 that's uh, still in the tank. So, of course now it's not going to focus on any of them. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's, nah, I don't know. But, alright guys, later on.